When you hear the name Australia, you think of beautiful beaches and natural wonders. But there's so much more to this country than what you see on TV. Let's look at 10 interesting facts about Australia that everyone should know. So sit back, relax, and stay with me till the end of the video. Number 1. Australia has pink beaches. Most of the time, blue and green are the colors we see in nature. But have you guys heard of a pink lake and pink coastal road? Yeah, a lake in Australia is totally pink, and it gets pinker as the year goes on. The halobacteria and Dunalila salina algae cause it to turn pink, and it has the same or more salt as the Dead Sea. So it's clear that it's beautiful to look at, even if you wouldn't want to jump into the water or sip it. Number 2. Record-breaking snow Australia is known for having extreme heat, but if you go to the Australian Alps in the cold season, you'll see a unique side of things. Approximately 35 inches of snow falls every year on these high peaks. If you go during these times, you can do everything snow-related, like skiing, bobsledding, and snowboarding. A press ski activities include fine dining, pub food, socializing by the fire, and a whole host of other things that can be done all year long. The Australian Alps have 13 nature reserves where people can ride horses, hike, mountain bike, and take pictures. Number 3. Australia has the most educated people in the world. It is also true that Australia has a higher literacy rate than anyone else in the world. This is because Australia is very connected to nature and has a full ecosystem. Australia is the country where every single thing is so big and overblown. This could sound weird, but we can assume that perhaps the slow internet speed in this country might be why the education rate is so high. Perhaps this is why people spend their time reading instead of using social media. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments down below. Number 4. 80% of the world's unique animals live in Australia. Many of the fascinating animals in the world live in Australia, such as the cute marsupials and the many different kinds of birds. There are many ways to see the country's wildlife, from animal shelters and parks to seeing these exceptional animals in the wild. Kangaroos are easy to find in the farms and grasslands in New South Wales, but koalas and platypuses are harder to find. If you are interested in seeing these adorable animals in the wild, have a guide show you where they like to hide. It can be beneficial. In the middle of the day, Sydney Wildlife World is a fantastic spot to see anything you may have missed. Number 5. People have been living in Australia for 65,000 years. Willem Jensoon wasn't even the first guy to reach Australia when he did so in 1606. The Aboriginal people of Australia were already living in each part of Australia. The religious and folk song cultures are some of the oldest in world's history. The Bunjilaka Aboriginal Cultural Centre in Melbourne and the Aboriginal Museum in Sydney are two places where you can learn all about these people. The National Museum of Australia also honours these wonderful people and has a lot of information about Australia's history. Number 6. Australia's Barrier Reef is the world's most extensive ecological system. The Great Barrier Reef is Australia's pride. It comprises more than 2,500 reefs and can be seen from space. Woohoo! Is it not something really amazing? It is spread over almost half of the country's eastern coast. So there are lots of berries to start from if you want to see the colorful coral. The most popular place to start a tour to the reef is in Cairns. But Townsville, Port Douglas, as well as Airlie Beach also have amazing beaches and trips that can take you over to see the reef. The awesome barrier reef is home to many exotic fishes and marine mammals. So snorkeling and swimming between them are definitely the best part of any tour to Australia. Number 7. Australia is a lot bigger than people think. How many of you have thought about how big Australia is? Australia is the sixth largest country on the planet, after Russia, Canada, China, the United States, and Brazil. The country has three types of land, deserts, meadows, and woodlands. These are further broken down into subtropical, climate zone, rainforest, and Mediterranean forests. Australia has 10 desert areas, so most of the country's infrastructure and big cities are along the shoreline, where 90% of the residents live. Number 8. Australia is a source of camels for the Middle East. When you think of camels, the Middle East should be the first place that immediately springs to mind. However, Australia is the country that actually sells camels to nations in the Middle East. Even though Saudi Arabia uses camels to breed animals and eat, the proportion of camels can be seen to be decreasing. So even though the camels symbolize the Middle East, Australia is actually the country that supplies the Middle East. 
Number 9. The concept of the selfie was developed in Australia. Who does not like to take selfies? Did you guys know that Australia is the place where the term selfie first appeared? The word selfie has undoubtedly become more common since it was first introduced in 2013 to describe a photograph of the photographer's self-portrait. Even more impressive is the fact that the word selfie has made its way into Oxford dictionaries. It is believed that the term selfie started in 2002, when a guy took a picture of himself and called it a self-portrait for the first time. This was much before 2013. Number 10. Australia has over 60 different places where wine is made. Australia is known for its wine. Australia has more than 2,000 winemakers and they send more than 750 million liters of wine to other countries every year. They also drink more than their fair share at home. If you visit Australia, you really have to try their wine. There are so many different places where wine is made, so it's extremely difficult to pick the best one. Most of Australia's wine regions are in New South Wales and Victoria, so a bus tour between Sydney and Melbourne might be a fantastic way to see some of them. Start by taking your time to visit the Southern Highlands, Kimberumba, and Alpine Valleys. This is among Australia's most beautiful wine areas, where you can enjoy the winemaking procedure. There are also a lot of vineyards in Western Australia, all of which are accessible from Perth. This is a fine choice to get out of the city and discover Australia's wine regions. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time. Ciao for now!